welcome back to part two of the Deer and Doe Sirocco Jumpsuit Sew Along. So I'm wearing it and I'm loving it and I hope this video helps you. Hope you watched part one and it was helpful. If there's any questions just put them into the comments below and if you make one after my sew along or while my sew along is going just um if you're on Instagram tag me because I'd love to see. So I'm beyond the pink door on Instagram. I'll put the little, I'll put my handle here. Okay, enjoy. Well, I'm back and I'm fed and I'm ready for more action and I have the front leg here ready. I'm going to show you how to do one. I'm not going to go by the pattern instructions because I just, I find this really, I can't understand it. So I'm going to go by the right side of the fabric. Here's the crotch line and here's the pocket line and we have the little notch here with the other little notch here and how it works is again we're bringing notch to notch I'm going to pin it here I'm going to put another pin here and it's really good because the, the pleat stays the seam allowance shy of this seam. So there you can see, there's the pleat. Pocket's going to go in here. Corresponding front is going to go here. So I'm going to go and do, stitch them in place, and then I'll come back. So here's my two fronts with their pleats. And then we have space here for the two pockets. So we have two pocket bags, we have the facing, and we have the pocket. So number eight is the facing, and that's the first one we're going to use. Now just to show you the pocket pieces on this jumpsuit, I put the cardigan on, I got a bit cold. So down here, here's the pocket. So this is piece number nine, this is the pocket. And then piece number eight is in here. That's the pocket facing. So actually just where this overlaps, this is where I did the extra couple of back stitches. So because when you're getting into the jumpsuit, it's actually quite tight and you really, really look like that's, that's actually quite tight there. So I'm going to just show you here how to do the pocket pieces. Here's one front and here's number eight, the pocket facing. And you can see that number eight has the corresponding slope that this one has. So we pin the pocket on top of the front and we're going to stitch along here. Right, so I've sewn along here. So this is my pocket. Here's my piece number nine. So what we're going to do is turn the pocket facing around. Now it does ask you, I think, to top stitch along here, but I just found that the last two jumpsuits I did, it got very stretched and distorted. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to iron that when it's finished. So I'm turning it to the inside. And then I'm getting piece number nine and I'm putting that on top and I'm going to stitch around here. Well, this is the view of the front side from the front and here's the two pockets. Now I decided not to top stitch but what I did was I under stitched. So I pushed the seam back and I sewed on top there. So that's the piece that's inside the pocket. So now what we want to do is Turn it over. God, this is really hard to do with one hand. I definitely need to invest in some sort of overhead tripod. Okay, that's the pocket. Pinned to the top here and pinned to the side a little bit here. So I'm going to sew that and sew that in place on the two pieces. So if you see it from the front, there's the crotch seam, 
There's our lovely pleat. And here's our pocket. Wow. So I'm going to stitch across here and I'm going to stitch across here on the two of them. Now here we are. Here's our pocket. So I'm going against the instructions again um, because again visually this is just how I work better. So we have crotch seam. I'm going to sew this seam. So I'm going to get the two fronts right sides together and I'm going to pin and sew that seam. So that's my front legs done. Pleats. Pockets. Love it. I'm going to set the two fronts to one side now. I'm happy they're joined up together and I'm going to grab the backs. So we don't have pleats on the back, we have two darts. So we have the pin and we have the two, the two little notches. So we bring the two notches together. I'm going to put a pin there, pin the two notches. There's the end of my dart and I'm going to sew from notch down to the pin. And I'm going to do that on the second. So now I'm going to get my cr crotch seams, crutch, crotch seams together like the front. So here we have the back crotch seam. And I'm going to Pin them right sides together and sew. The scuba is really, really easy to work with. Kind of does what it's told. And the fact that we're not overlocking makes this such a fast project. waiting for my bobbin to run out. It hasn't yet. So the next thing that the instructions ask us to do hmm. no I'm going to do this kind of different as well. I'm going to stitch the waistband seam of the back trousers to the little waistband. I'm going to get my girl over here. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> I have my phone on like a little three-legged gimbal thingamajig and it's balanced on the box. So sometimes it unbalances. <laughs> yes, we have the we have the highest standards of um, technology here. So anyway, here I am, here's the band, and I'm going to sew this on here. So obviously, oh look, that matches. Um, I'm going to go right sides together and sew. So take her off again. Oh, I've every sort of light. There's my halo. Every sort of light on here as well today because it's so blooming dark. So we'll turn the cardboard box around again. <laughs> and we will get, I hope this actually makes sense to everybody because it's probably difficult when it's such a floral fabric. But yeah, I think if you kind of watch this before you made a jumpsuit, 
it might be a help to the finished product. I've pinned the front trousers onto the bend of the bodice and I've done the same at the back and now I'm going to sew across and of course be very careful that you are actually pinning the front trousers to the front jumpsuit because I know it sounds really stupid but it can just so easily happen and then you'd have a very strange affair of a jumpsuit. So I'm just going to sew across here on the front and on the back. Now look at her, she's coming together nicely. So we have our pockets and our pleats going the right direction. We have our wrap over. We have to do the side seams obviously. And here we have the back waistband. And there we have our darts. And there's the crotch seam. There's the little pleats that are in the back as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is put in the sleeves. Now again this isn't exactly what it's saying to do in the instructions. It's just a better, well I won't say better, I just feel it's a better way of putting them in. So I'm not going to be missed in this. Now time to put the sleeves in. So this is the front. Here's place for your head and here's our armhole and here is our sleeve. So we have a little notch here at the top of the sleeve so that matches the shoulder seam and then where is it? Along here we have one notch and that's going to match up to a notch here and then we have, remember I said that there's two notches on the back and then we should have two notches here on the back. So I'm going to start pinning this so we go right sides together. I'll move my camera. Now I'm going to pin I'm going to make sure that my shoulder seam faces towards the back. Get my little notch here for the shoulder. Pin that in place. Match up my next notch. Where are you? Here. And match up my notches. On the back piece. Where are you hiding? There. And then that matches to the underarm. And the same here on the front. And then we sew around here. We do that on the two. Now I'm pinning my other sleeve in, just in front of me, because it's just far easier. It is so difficult to try and manoeuvre a camera on a bad little gimbal. I'll have to show you a picture of it, you will laugh. On a cardboard box, <laughs> while you try and do things and try and keep it within the camera as well. So yeah, this is my first time to do something like this. I probably should have started with something very simple, but um, oh well. Hey ho, I do love a challenge. And God, this jumpsuit is going to be so nice. So I'm just matching up all my notches. Far easier looking at it in front of me. And now I'm going to sew my two armhole sleeves. This is coming on really, really well. Uh, once we have the sleeve head sewn in, we have to sew down the sides and then we have to sew up the inner seam and then it's practically done. Then it's a little hem on the sleeve and a hem for whatever length. I just can't wait to try it on. It's just looking so cute. Okay, I'm going to sew these sleeves in. Ok, 
Okay, that's the two sleeves in. This jumpsuit is really slow to start, but then it flies along. So we've got all our pieces. Yeah, I have no spare ones, so we've all the pieces together. Now, this is where it really comes together. So grab it by the shoulder seams and just give it a good shake. Admire the inside of your jumpsuit and then go to the waist part of it. And I'm going to put a pin there. And then I'm going to go to the underarm. The thing about this jumpsuit is that there's really no opportunity to try it on as you're sewing it because it's just two pieces and then it all comes together at the end. So I think by doing it this way, um, which is slightly different to the pattern, it gives far more opportunity for a little bit of alterations. So I've just gone to the end of the leg and I'm going to just pin it together, right sides together, all the way up. And it should just fall in nicely together. There's our pockets. I've pinned the two sides, so I've pinned, here's our sleeve, upside down. So I've pinned from the sleeve through the arm hole the seam. Here we are at the waist. We have the pockets here and I've gone all the way down to the hem. So while I'm, when I'm sewing, I'm going to start with a back stitch here. I'm going to push these two little seams in the opposite directions. I'm going to do a back stitch over where the bend at the waist is, and I'm going to do another back stitch here where the pocket is. And I'm just going to sew down and sew down on the other side. So I've just come to the end of the two side seams. <laughs> We're so close. Now what we do is we go to the crotch seam and we're going to pin that in place. Again here I like to send one seam one way, the other the other because it just gets too bulky there. And I'm going to pin from the hem up around and that will be our last seam. Then we have an actual physical jumpsuit goes the last seam apart from the hems but this is the last seam okay it's time to turn it the right way out turn the camera around it's pretty nice even from the inside out Okay, I'm going to try it on and come back. I think I'll have to take a little bit of, yeah, a little bit of length off. I'm in. It was a bit of a contortionist experience, but that's with all the fresh stitching and everything. And I didn't hear any stitches break, so that's good. It's really, really nice. I have one large flower <laughs> on my poop. <laughs> oh god I'm so excited it's actually so pretty I'll stand back how cute now that's not bad for a few hours work is it it fits really nicely god this scuba is really nice I had this remnant 
in my shopping cart for a couple of days um, because I had to make up the rest of the order from Maeve's and I thought by the time I go back it's going to be gone but no it was still there I was waiting for him I do find with them that this feels quite wide but I think that's just so that you can actually get in and out of it so yeah I'm pretty happy with that so all I have to do now is do turn up a hem here and decide what length to make it and then it's done um, I am hoping that when I look at the back that I don't have two flowers just plastered on my bum <laughs> but anyway <laughs> time will tell so yeah I hope that you've watched it learned something from it hopefully you might make a jumpsuit and have it running in the background someday I'll definitely be making more I'm already thinking about what I'm going to make my next one out of so oh yes I made the size 40 um, I'm a 10 ish in the shops so I made the size 40 I think it actually took me longer to decide what size to make when I made the first one than it did to actually make the jumpsuit but um, yeah I made the 40 no alterations so I think possibly if you're a taller person than me you may have to lengthen the body because this is just just about in the right place in fact it feels slightly high and like there's no long part to me at five foot there's definitely no long part so I feel it's in the right place the sleeves are lovely yeah this is really nice so yeah thank you and Bye-bye.